Okay, I lost Lady. I couldn't find her anywhere and I just was heading out again. I've got to go get some rare mushrooms. And would you believe it, as I was heading out with the troop, with the troop, of course with the troop, I found that Lady was must have been on the ground somewhere and was following Jay. She must have fallen off me at some stage. Don't ask me how. Oh, come on, I'm riding you, Z. I'm trying to ride you, Z. I need you to gather rare mushrooms. We've got the troop now. Ah, I'm missing one of them. Come on, Jay. Why do I always take these two? Because they've got phenomenal weight. Their weight is really good. I'm leveling them up, but I don't need to level their weight up at this point. They're just so good. But we need rare mushrooms. I ran out. I couldn't make any more kibble I was making earlier. <coughs> so we're... They're my, um... They're, they're my guards. Oh, come on. What are you stuck on, baby? Uh, now I'm stuck. Oi! Guys! So we're not playing fair. Sometimes going out with three of them is a good idea and sometimes it's lousy, but um, if I'm in trouble, I'd rather have the two baryonics behind me fighting for me than be there on my own. I have died once too often. I have lost everything once too often. We're after the mangroves down here. we're after and we're just dropping everything except the rare mushrooms as I said I'm letting those two just kill everything uh, and we're just gonna keep opening up and going drop 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 And, boy, we're getting a lot of rubbish. And, boy, we're getting a piece, so it's all good. This is just another normal day on Earth. I... Z is, when I hatched some more Terezina Zors out, I wasn't going to keep Z because Z literally, boy, as far as I was concerned, the girls all were useful and poor old Z was hatched a boy and it was like, why am I going to, oh hang on, what have I done? Oops, this is a mistake. I've accidentally turned on that. Okay, that'll be better. Uh, the girls are always useful, they're egg layers. But, um, poor little Z, he was just a boy, and then I looked at his stats and went. No, he actually is going to be good. He's gonna be fine. So 
So Z got her a free. What have you done? You've done this to me again? Walk inside me, I can't move. Boys, I hate to say it, and see the men grow. One, two, and three. I got totally lost in the box the other day. I was out here doing stuff. Oi. I got so lost, but I was on spinner, so it doesn't matter. Sort of invincible. That actually might almost do us. I must come and take that raft apart because it's well and truly beached. Agent got it stuck there and it's sort of been there ever since. He actually moved one of my taming rafts and I don't know where it's gone. I had got it stuck but he managed to remove it and yeah, I don't know where around the island it is. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'll see you soon. As you you're seeing something that you've never seen before. I need to come in here on something that's I'm not likely to die on. The only thing I can think of is Spinner. She's pretty tough and I'm not likely to get knocked off her. It looks like some sort of ruins. Um, I would have thought coming in here on us. Yeah, that just looks interesting. I'm not going to go through on Bandit because I might get knocked off. I just walked to the edge of the tree platform and looked 
over and down and went, wow, what is that? It looks really interesting, intriguing, and like something I want to explore. <laughs> I don't think any of my um, land beasts, apart from a spinner, would be safe enough to go exploring, though. Oh well, not to worry. I'll take Bandit home. We've now got all our tree sap. I ran out of tree sap. I was making more kibble. And off we go. Anyway, this 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 episode of Ark. I've done a bit of this and a bit of that. I've just seen something I really want to go exploring. The only way I can think of doing it is possibly on spinner because I'm not likely to die on her. She's. I suppose I do a lot with her. She's um. She does do a little bit of water stuff. And a, oh, another tickle chicken. And yes, you're a level hundred. I'm not interested. Wiping out tickle chickens left, right, and centre. All right. See you at home. I'm in my nearly completed greenhouse. Well, three quarters completed greenhouse. I'm going to go flat top roof. I'm doing slightly sloped up there. Yes, I would have used this crystal if I'd gone flat straight across. But I'm going for aesthetics. Bite me. I'm a Minecrafter. This is my favourite dung, dung beetle. I was trying to get a new one, but somehow one of my baryonics went on to attack target and he ate about three or four dung beetles before I could get another one. Uh, yeah, I know, unimaginative name. Um, he is doing a wonderful job. He's giving me oil and he's giving me um, fertilizer. So means that out here may eventually become obsolete. But don't don't tell me I'm yours. What's left of them? trying to lovingly look after them. One of the things I do like about art is the survival aspect of it. Yes, I like the farming side of it. But hey, I find that soothing in things like Minecraft too. Mind you, if I was really farming and there were things like dinosaurs running around and running over my crops and I've just done a run over to the cave and got more crystal, which is when I was trying to get another dung beetle. I took my tripod with me, but um, as I said, my favourite... My, I took the baryonyx that have the best... Um, best weight with them, and they've got pretty high levels too. And I just wanted into the cave and home again. Quickly. I was hoping to grab another dung beetle and as soon as I saw two of them, I had a little baryonyx go, oh, seek, kill, destroy. Normally I'm grabbing all these crops when I'm in here, but at the moment I'm just trying to do a very quick, throw out more fertilizer. I've actually got a fridge that's so full I can't fit any more crops in it. For me, really rare. Well, I know technically it's a preserving bin. I took the fridge apart because I couldn't afford the gasoline to keep it going. I'd actually, I've never done so well with anything as we see um, Dung Beetle. He's made such a difference to how much fertiliser I've got. I mean, the other things are great, the compost bins, don't get me wrong. But having that little Dung Beetle walking around, I've suddenly got oil, I'm not chasing oil every two seconds. Because I use oil for converting meat and prime meat to jerky, which I use in 
kibble. I could put it in the beans as well. Hello, darling. These three are just sitting here. They're just chilling. Anything goes belly up with the other baryonics, I have backups. I'm going to go flat top roof. It'd look better possibly with slope, but it'll be more cost efficient with crystal. I'm going to have to take Jay and Pete for a quick run to the crystal cave. We will try and get another dung beetle. These things are enormous. I am, can't believe how thick they are. Every single thing in here. It's almost made the fight the army as obsolete. I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, it's almost made my Fiomi as obsolete. I love my two little Fiomi as the ones that survived the inroads of other things. But uh, yeah, I've still got to finish putting down uh, stone flooring everywhere in here. I've got to repair a few bags. Um, done, yeah, I know. The garden's right done. We are uh, uh, very, very unimaginable. Thing. I realised what I was writing and stopped it done. He's such a bitch boy! He's on passive flea in the wake of everything and taxing him will run away. But those things cannot keep up with his garden. He keeps up and supplies oil for two little things in the jerky. And supplies oil for the generator. <coughs> I think if I get to level one or two dunk needles, I'm home and hosed. Okay, I'm just taming another dung beetle and hoping nothing jumps down here and bites me. Just waiting till it's ready to eat again. It's low level, or high, le high level at ones later. I've got a cryopod with me. You guys just be ready to protect mother. found dung beetles here before, but not on this world. <sighs> Get hungry, you little rascal. I want to feed you and go and run before something nasty comes out of the wall. Okay. Okay, he's going to order Okay, what we're going to do with him We're Pokemoning him Okay He's, he's uh, sort of frozen All is good I will edit out my barking dog Sorry and I haven't told Pete. Come on. I think that's just metal. There's supposed to be obsidian down here. Oh, there's another dung beetle. Now, I need a bit more crystal. some obsidian. Jay. How's your weight going, Jay? is that's the first obsidian I have found. 
and I have been looking. Oi. And that's scary music, so there's something not nice around. All right, catch you in a minute. We're heading out to get Crystal and my new dung beetle. It was a level 15 spino, we just ran past it, so we're gonna have to be really quick and try and do the same going home. On Pete, up here. I'm, I'm trying to avoid picking a fight. It's only a level 15. We will be taking it out. If it was a level 150, yeah. It's a level 15. Alright, we're nearly home. We managed that quite nicely. We didn't get as much crystal as I wanted, but once I got my... Uh, sorry about the yappy dog. I'll edit out as much as I can. Once I got... My dung beetle. Where's Pete? Today's a day for killing spinos. I've just killed a wild male, and this female's going down to. amazing. She's got another point. She, I'm trying to get her up to 10,000 health. We don't actually do any meat or anything or any of this stuff. I've been dropping a lot of... Uh, I do need the sail. Why do you need the sail? Well apparently you need them for boss fights and things. So we just got two sails simply because I can't do spinos. Little girl is a big baby. Okay, well, we just took out two spinos, went up another level. Today is a good day on Ark. Catch you soon. I am just putting the finishing touches on this greenhouse, and it's done. I just broke one. Damn. And I'm now out of crystal, so we're gonna have to go back to the crystal cave to get more crystal to finish that last square. But for the purposes of today, I'm gonna call this done. I have my greenhouse. Um, if we go over here and where are we? Get out of K mode. If we go to one of these plots. Greenhouse effect 300%, which is pretty good. Oh, I forgot one wall here. I'll have to replace that. I do have spare greenhouse walls back at the house. I've still got to replace these with stone. I just haven't done it. But I've got a really good working thing. Now I've got my two amazing dung beetles. I've got Hindu. He was called Dun. I renamed him in Gennard. Um, If we open this up, I'm swimming in, uh, in fertilizer. Can't keep up with it. And that gives oil as well. Not as much oil as I need for some projects, but it's pretty good. <coughs> I need a lot more obsidian than I'm getting from that cave, but I am getting some which has enabled me to get a few jobs done. I've still got to go chase an Argy, but we will get on to that. We will get on to that. So thank you for joining me as I've done these jobs and for the few things I did in this episode and I will catch you next episode have a beautiful day, evening or night wherever you are, 
See you next time. Bye.